were at the gym, it was chest day and I did a little bit of legs. But it feels so good to get out of the house and be active and do my workout. And it's always my favorite part of the day, honestly. Doing a desk job makes it crucial for me <laughs> to get working out, but I love it. Workout complete, feeling great, feeling wonderful. Now me and Wyatt are eating Mad Greens, which is like this healthy place. They have salads, wraps, all that good stuff, but I'm super, super excited to eat it. I'm starving, but I will show you guys when I get it. Okay, let's look. I got a wrap this time. I usually get a bowl, but it's a Southwest. It's spinach tortilla, chicken, um, romaine, roasted corn and no tomatoes with cilantro chili lime dressing that's the tea right there but i love these spinach tortillas oh she's green she's green i kind of wish they cut it but that's okay because we don't want to be at home and we want to just explore these so it should be fun hi friends i'm in my sister's room because it's quiet but i wanted to do a little show and tell of the things i got from hobby lobby yesterday that i was telling you guys about but i wanted to do a 2021 photo book of all the photos and memories from last year so i decided to just do it myself have i scrapbooked before no but we're gonna try it out and it should be fun but i got this um sketchbook that has like these thick pages in it and then i got some fun tape like look how cute and then i just got some like brown cardstock and so I'll print out all the pictures and create the pages and do all that cute stuff. But I think that should be super cute. The goal is to have like every year um, lined up on a bookshelf and it has all the years on the spine. And then I'm able to just pick it off the bookshelf and see the year. So that'll be a fun little project to do. And then I just got this book. My friend Nadine suggested it, Rest and War, Rhythms of a Well-Fought Life. So I thought this would be wonderful because as some of you know, I'm trying to read one book every two months because I'm not a reader, but books are so amazing and so enriching. So I'm trying to get better about that. So this one looks like a fun one. It's all about just battling what's holding you back and building what will propel you forward, trading patterns of thinking that diminish intimacy with God for ones that encourage it. So, so this seems amazing. But I also just wanted to end this video out since it's a Sunday video, just talking to you guys and kind of sharing what God has been doing in my life, what he's been teaching me, where he's been showing up, just so that I can kind of inspire you guys to look at maybe different ways that he might be showing up and um, being very present. But I've been really, really focusing on listening. So really trying to see how God is moving in my day-to-day -day life, how he's speaking to me, um, what, how he's showing up, the way he shows up, and really being very intentional in the way I recognize that God is in all things and just why he's doing things and just really, really focusing on the patterns of God. And it has been amazing. And on top of that, um, Nadine and I have been sending our gratitudes to each other every morning, what we're grateful for. And that has just changed my heart posture in such a beautiful way. I was telling her that my heart is just so peaceful and calm right now. And I love that feeling because I can find that rest and that peace that I need from the Lord. But not that I don't talk back to God, but I've been way, way more intentional about how he's speaking back 
and really just focusing and being very, very diligent in leaving that space for him to communicate with me. And then um, something that's a little bit challenging for me, but I've been working really hard to do exactly what he tells me to do and be obedient to his calling and where he's leading and so it's so exciting and even with higher battle the way he's leading that and moving that and just everything i do in life is very led by god right now and it just feels great and even when it is uncomfortable or he's stretching me past my limits or things like that it's uncomfortable it's uncomfortable and there's that growth, but there's that peace and strength that comes with it. So it's been such a beautiful season. So I just wanna encourage you guys to leave space for God, to really see and feel and reflect on how he's moving and how he's reacting and different things like that because it is a two-sided relationship, you guys. It's not just you talking to Jesus, leaving it at that, hope it happens. It is a relationship between the two of you. And so I want you guys to just really, really reflect on your relationship with Jesus this week and where he's present, what you're grateful for. And if you've been having a hard time with um, just an uneasy heart or you're anxious or stressed, try writing out your gratitudes every morning or telling someone your gratitudes every morning. It will help you so, so much. Even if you need to message me your gratitudes, do it. If you need someone to help you stay accountable, I can do that for you. But it's also amazing to do it with some of your close friends and family members and get them in it as well. But that has been helping me so, so much. And that's really just been my relationship with God lately. And then I've been doing a couple Bible studies um, I love the She Reads Truth Bible studies because I have the subscription plan and it's amazing. But I'm really doing on one about God's faithfulness and been reading through that and I just started it so I'll let you guys know how that is. But I thought it would be fun if some of my Sunday videos were laid back like vlog style and then I kind of just told you guys what's happening with me and God. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. But. I love you guys. I hope you had the best week ever as usual. I will see you next week. You guys are incredible. You are such a blessing to my life. And I will be praying for all of you. And I will see all of your beautiful faces next time. Bye.